today we're talking about MTHFR, so no surprise, let's talk detox. Because MTHFR at the end of the day is a condition where there's not enough methylation. Methylation is critical for detoxification. Folate reductase is critical to make detoxifiers as well. So for that reason, at the core, MTHFR can oftentimes lead to toxicity and detoxification becomes a critical part of staying healthy when you have MTHFR. It's your way of getting all the bad stuff out. All right, so there's two things that I like. This detox is the combination of two different products. Let me see if I can put them over here. Okay, one is a shake and the other is a package of pills. So the way that this detox works, uh, if you did it all in pills and we tried to avoid a shake, I just can't even imagine how many pills would be involved in this whole thing. This is a phase one and phase two liver detox. So that's critical for MTHFR. For any of you science geeks that wanna have more information on what this detox actually does, geek out with me in a science moment. Otherwise, this is the MTHFR detox. Out of all the folks that we've seen here in clinic with MTHFR, being a large MTHFR focused clinic here in South Florida, this is probably my favorite. It's certainly the starting point with most folks that come on in because again, the problem isn't MTHFR, the problem is toxicity that results from it. And so before you even get involved with methylation and everything else as far as MTHFR treatment, so whether you're taking vitamin D or CoQ10 for your MTHFR mutation, your first place to start is get the dirty out.